I did it. I made a burger. I would have added cheese to it, but I'm out of cheese. Now, because I just got done cooking, the window to my apartment is all the way open. It's a little bit smoky in here from cooking, but it smells like beef, so, yeah. But we're not done just yet. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have to let that stove cool off before I clean it, obviously. But, um, we're not done with this burger just yet. No, 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 no. We're going to add some ranch to it. And I'm going to add the ranch to the top of it right there, just like that. Yeah. I would have added peanut butter and jelly to it, but I'm out of peanut butter and all I got is jelly. So I'm like, you know what, let's just do a little bit of ranch and a little bit of mayo. And four patties. Oh, yep, I can pick it up alright. Look at that. Excuse me. A lot of grease, a lot of protein. Taking down a massive burger for all my awesome fans out there. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! We're not going to let this protein go to waste. You'll see what I mean by that in a minute. Mm. That was all kinds of greasy and messy good right there. Now after consuming that much protein, I definitely need to work out just a little bit. But if, it, if you can't lift weights, then the workout I'm about to show you is great for those at homers who don't have time to go to a gym. Someone sends me a text. Want to get drunk? Um, hell yeah. Just give me a second. Yeah. Now, because of good genetics from my father, my muscles develop relatively fast. So, they develop a lot faster than guys my age. So, I can really thump up. Alright, so now I want to turn the computer screen right there. Uh, excuse me, just like that. Can y'all see me cooking? Yes, you can. Most excellent. One, two, ten. And then the Cobra Yoga position. Uh. Breathing in and out to center your chi. You want to keep your back legs together. One, two, ten. That is one set right there. Let's see if we can shoot for nine more. Ten. Ten. Two sets. Uh, nine, ten, nine, ten. Uh, yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, come on, push it. Nine. Oh yeah, four sets. There we go. Oh. Ten. Eight. Nine. Ten. Let's see, I believe that's 
that's 50 push-ups, 50 sit-ups. Eight, nine, ten. Ten. To get to do 100? Only one way to find out. push-ups, 100 sit-ups, that's enough to break, break a sweat, yeah. <sighs> Hashtag get gains, YouTube. Hashtag get gains. Told you all that protein wasn't going to waste. <laughs> Anyway, I asked my fans if they wanted a deep fried chicken video yesterday, and I did make it, but the video was a complete disaster. I had a, I tweaked my uh, Doritos deep fried chicken recipe a little bit, and, well, the first time I tweaked it and made it and remade it, it tasted good, but the camera wasn't working. So I went to when I went to go remake it for a YouTube video, I had seven drumsticks to make the recipe. And I royally fucked up three of them, and I was able to save four of them. And I ended up deleting the cooking video because of how disastrous it was. And I made a couple mistakes. I had the uh, canola oil on too hot. And, yeah. It got so smoky in my apartment that... Literally, it traveled up the unused fireplace that this apartment has, which every apartment has them. But it literally traveled up the unused fireplace, and the smoke from that me trying to deep fry chicken went up into my upstairs neighbor's apartment. She came downstairs and knocked on my door, and she's like, Are you burning toast? And I'm like, No, I'm trying to make deep fried chicken. Uh -huh. Uh, you know, I gave her the most apologetic look I could and let her know that I had the window open. Um, and then once I got the burnt smell out of my apartment and cleaned and all that, I took a couple, uh, I w you know, I took a couple, maybe like an hour and a half, two hours to kind of just collect my anger and cool off a bit, you know. And then I was able to save four pieces of that chicken. So I thought, okay, cool. I'll make a, I can at least make a video of me trying the four pieces I was able to save and, you know, tried uploading that to YouTube, it didn't work. YouTube was being stubborn. Momentarily distracted. Anyways, I mean, it's bullshit, YouTube. Because, uh, you know, I grabbed my bike 
to go for a quick ride and uh, I'm about ready to take off and lo and behold my landlord stopped to talk to me and she goes well we're, we're, I'm getting complaints about the smell coming from your apartment I'm like oh what do you mean she goes well, people are saying you're burning incense and it, it stinks like weed and blah, blah, blah. You know, and I'm just like, whatever, you know. Um, <coughs> that's what's up. That's why they call it cough medicine. <coughs> Dude, that's fucking, that's fucking bad. Badass. Check this out. I can hold four incense in my ash tree just like that. And when the ash collapses, it goes straight into the receptacle below it. Coconut buzz. That will help with the smell. And yeah, some of my incense sticks, they might leave a suggestive smell in the air. But the whole reason I light them to begin with is for relaxation purposes. You know what I'm saying? Like... Nice! But on the for real though, YouTube, I just, you know, I don't complain about my neighbors, so why the fuck they gotta complain about me, you know? And it's not like, it's not like I'm up till four or five o'clock in the morning making a shit ton of loud ass noise, you know? I'm actually a pretty damn good neighbor, but whatever, you know? I just, 